Hi there, Pastor Brian from Bayside Folsom. Great to be with you today. I was thinking about wisdom the other day, and my wife Dana and I were the parents of six teenagers plus a bunch of other kids, and we look around our family sometimes and go, wow, there is a lack of, do you ever do that? You look around your family and go, there is a lack of wisdom. I look at my own life sometimes and go, there is a lack of wisdom going on here, right? Kids just do crazy stuff and you're like, man, that's just not very wise. Could we infuse some wisdom into that decision, that moment, that, whatever it is? Could we infuse some wisdom? And then I was flipping through the news the other day and I was like, good heavens, there's just a lack of wisdom all over the place. Not just in my family, not just in my life, but like in our world, there's a grave lack of wisdom, isn't there? And I was thinking about that in relation to something the Apostle Paul wrote a couple thousand years ago. He penned it to the church in the city of Ephesus, Ephesians chapter 5. Paul's talking about wisdom. He's talking about leaving unwise stuff. L- listen to what Paul says, Ephesians chapter 5, verses 15 and 16. Be very careful then how you live, not as unwise, but as wise. So what's Paul doing there? He's challenging us to leave the unwise, teenage kind of unwise decisions behind and instead lean hard into wise decisions. And then listen to what he says. He goes on, verse 16, making the most of every opportunity. So see, today, as you're living your life, as you're going to work, as you're going to school, as you're going to the grocery store, as you're engaging with friends and neighbors and family, and so there is an opportunity, there's this moment that God is giving you and me to live wise. And how are you squeezing that moment for all it's worth in regard to to wisdom. God's desiring to give you wisdom to navigate that scenario, to make that decision with more wisdom than you might have, to actually make an impact in that person. How are you bringing the kingdom of God in that scenario, in your work cubicle, in your school classroom, even if it's on Zoom, with your neighbor across the back fence? God wants to use you in a wise way. Would you do that today? Would you say, God, I need some more of your wisdom right here, right now, because I want to make the most of this opportunity. Ask God, he's going to give it, and I can't wait to see everything God's going to use you to do today.